Hey, what's going on everybody? I found this cool poster on Pinterest and I thought it would be really interesting to teach you how to do this type of typography. So let's jump into Illustrator and have some fun. Okay, so here's the actual poster itself. And as you can imagine, um, you do have some limitations on the different fonts that you can use to achieve this effect. So just try to keep that in mind whenever you're laying out a poster or laying out some design ideas. You may wanna create your own typography altogether uh, because doing this kind of effect, you'll be limited by the letters that you have and also by the fonts you have. So just kind of keep that in mind. And because of those limitations, I'm just gonna recreate this part of the poster right here and use the word circus. So I'm not really sure what the technical term is for this effect uh, other than just stretch text. So what you wanna do is you wanna find a font that has a couple of characteristics. One, that it's compressed, so that's pretty easy to find. But then also two, you wanna make sure that the letters have these little segmented areas right here. So for example, on the letter S, most fonts are actually gonna curve in that area. And this right here actually has the segmented area that just kinda of goes straight off right here. And this S right here kind of has that same thing. It does have a little bit of a curve, but it still has this very defined area where it kind of goes down at a diagonal and then it just goes straight down. So it's gonna be a lot easier to work with fonts that are like that. So let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing I'm gonna do is select this. I'm gonna create outlines. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna make the text no longer editable and it's gonna turn it into an art piece rather than text. So now I'm just gonna grab the C right here and we'll just kind of line it up. This doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Who knows, they may have actually used a different font uh, with this. I'm not sure what font they would have used for it, but there's a million different compressed fonts out there. But what we're gonna do is just get this uh, roughly where we want it to go. And then from this point, it's actually pretty easy. What you don't wanna do is select everything and do something like this, because this is gonna distort the text to the point of illegibility. So you don't wanna do that. What you wanna do is select it and then hit the letter A on your keyboard. And that's gonna show you all of these anchor points right here. And what you wanna do is you want to select just the anchor points that you wanna move down. So all we have to do is select the anchor points at the bottom portion of the C and then click and drag and hold shift while you do this and bring this all the way down to here. And it's really that easy. It's a lot easier than you thought it would be, huh? And then let's just repeat the process here. The letter I is gonna be pretty simple, so I'm just gonna speed up this portion. All right, so in some cases, it's gonna be a little bit more complex in terms of the anchor points that you wanna use. So let's go ahead and get the R going and let's size it to where we want it to be. So we want it to be roughly around there. And now all we have to do here is select the anchor points that are in this vicinity and bring this all the way down. And as you can see, this R actually has this little curve going on right here. You can keep that if you want to, but if you don't wanna keep that, all you have to do is draw a little rectangle going right here and then select those two and hit the minus front option in your pathfinder. So that's just gonna delete that part out. And then what you can do is just grab these anchor points and bring them down here. And then for the C, all we have to do is duplicate this over and then we'll select the anchor points at the bottom and bring it up to the top here. So we can actually get rid of this C, we don't need that. And then for the U, we can do very similar thing to what we did earlier with the I. We'll just do kind of like that right there. But what you wanna do here is select the anchor points at the bottom portion, so that way everything stays in proportion with each other. And then for the S, it may be a little bit tricky, but let's see what we're doing here. Just kind of bring it right here, go all the way to the top. And now what we wanna do is we wanna kind of play around with it a little bit. So as you can see, we've got this perfect 45 degree angle right here. If we wanna keep that, we should be able to. What you would do here is just bring this all the way down to the bottom and then select these two anchor points right here and bring this all the way up to the top, just like that. So stretch text, distorted text, however you wanna call it, that's how you achieve it. It's a lot easier than you may think. Let me know if you'd like to see some shorter or quicker Illustrator and Photoshop tutorials, and I'll be glad to do them for you. If you like this video, please click the notification bell at the bottom to be notified of all future videos. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.